Hi, my name is Jonathan Smith, and what I'm going to show you in this video is how to do some PID tuning mid-flight without the use of a Bluetooth adapter or um, a Bluetooth module and without the use of having to hook up your quad to your USB port many, many times. I'm new to clean flight and this weekend I had to do some PID time tuning and it was so hard plugging in that USB cable, flying, going back and forth, it, it was just really hard. So what I found was there's a way to do it uh, mid-flight and I'm gonna show you how to do it and how I did it. But let's just take notes of my roll and pitch P for now. Uh, 4.5 and 5.2. Um, I'm gonna just sh show you that those values vary change. So the first thing what I wanna do is on my modes, as you see, I have a switch for my arm and a switch for my horizontal. To make this easy, I um, basically um, got rid of my horizontal one for now, and I knew it was a Zoe 2. Then I went into adjustments. Uh, uh, sorry, a Zillary 1. And let's take it out, say save. Now I went into adjustments, turn it on, auxiliary one. Now, what I picked here is I want to adjust my pitch and roll P, two things at once, and I'm gonna use auxiliary one, and I actually want this to take up the whole range. So, so then no matter what I use on this setting, middle, here, middle and on there, it will do my setting. So, let's press save right now. Now let's take note of my pitch settings. So, right now, uh, I press A, you, you could disconnect the cable and start doing some flying. And while I'm doing that, let's just make believe I disconnected. I'm gonna turn my switch up while I'm flying. And while I'm doing that, I'm flying and I am really adjusting my, my pits. If you look, you could see my pit value changed because I had to switch up. Now let's say I'm flying and I'm finding that these are too crazy and I gotta load them. Basically, yeah, just let's go back to show you this to that. I just turn my switch down. And while I'm flying, it would be tuning my pit automatically. So if you look, you could see those values going down. And actually, this will be happening while you're flying. Basically, after all that is done, um, you could just save the value using a stick motion, which is actually uh, on mine, it's the left stick all the way down to the left and the right stick all the way down to the right will save it. And that will save your pit settings. And then what you can actually go in is hook it back up to the USB and change this for your ID or for anything else. So that's basically pretty much how I know how to do my PID tuning now, so I don't have to plug it into the USB cable back and forth. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to contact me. I'll be more than happy to help you.